how to create a MailChimp customer journey. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a MailChimp customer journey. So let's get into it. Now, what a customer journey basically is, is that it is a automated email. So if you go onto your automations in MailChimp, I'm pretty sure that anyone watching this video already has their MailChimp account and they have logged in. Well, you're just gonna go into your automation section and then you're gonna click on customer journeys and then you're just gonna click on create journey over here. And what a customer journey really does is that you can have a specific trigger for your email marketing campaign to start and then your campaign will start you can add many different conditions on what email to send next when a certain action is performed and this will help you in automating your entire email marketing setup so over here what i'm going to show you guys is how to create a uh, first off let's create a simple welcome sample so what I'm going to show you guys is how to send a welcome email automatically whenever a person signs up. So we're just going to name this welcome sample and I'm going to click on start building. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click on choose a starting point. And for us, the starting point is going to be the contact activity. Now you can add other starting points, but we are going to go and create a welcome email. So we're going to click on signs up over here and this is going to be the starting point. So whenever someone signs up to become a part of your audience, what you're just going to do is you're going to send an email so what you're just going to do is you're going to click on send email you're going to select this and you're going to drag it and then drop it onto this plus icon over here like so so once you have done this drag and drop you can click on the email and then you can choose a select a template or use a previous campaign template or just create a new email so you're just going to click on select template and then you can choose the email that you want to send but i'm not going to go into detail on how the emailing part goes everyone knows how to design their emails or send what kind of emails they want to send i'm just going to show you how you build your customer journey now if they get a welcome email and after a you want to add like a if else section so you're going to drop this rule so you're going to select it and drag and drop it onto this plus icon over here and what you're going to do is you're going to select the if else and if they match any of these conditions let's say if the campaign activity did not open uh, let's say for the last three months you're going to save this so if they did not open any of your campaigns in the last three months, what you're just going to do is you're going to add a time delay and you're going to add a one week time delay. And then what you're going to do is send an email and then you can click on your email. And then what you're going to do is send a email called, we haven't seen you in a while. And then you can add like a, a discount. Here's a 10% discount. And I'm just going to close this like so. But if they have opened your campaign activity. So the campaign activity did not open at all for any all of the campaigns. But no, if a campaign activity was opened, what you can do is update the contact or group them. So you can add a tag and you can create a new tag. So I can do active customer and what I'm going to do is add them into the active customer tag and then what I can do is I can wait for a time delay. I'm going to add a one week time delay after that and I would send them a another email. I would click on edit and I would send them like welcome to our loyalty program. Or something like that and then we can add like points or whatever kind of loyalty program we're running so you're just going to close this and now after you have finished both of your customer journeys so i'm just going to zoom out and show you guys the map so you can see i have this entire map basically for one trigger so once a person signs up this automatic process is going to start and you won't have to do anything all you're going to be doing is just logging onto mailchimp and seeing the progress of the customer but this entire process is going to be automated for you and what you can do is after a person gets a 10 percent discount and if they still haven't opened up that email so i'm going to add another if else trigger if they get this email and did not open then what you're going to do is for all of the last campaigns for the last one month, if any of the campaign activity was not opened up for the past month, what I would do is I would unsubscribe the contact 
but if some of the activity was opened but some of it was not opened what i would do is i would send another email giving them another discount because they are interested but they're not opening all of the emails so i would add another email welcoming them or giving them some other kind of discount and just like that i'm going to save and close this and now i have this entire automated process for whenever a customer signs up using their email so this is how simple and easy it is to create your customer journeys using mailchimp now although it is a simple and easy process you can't do it for free so to create a customer journey on mailchimp you can't do it on the free version so you will have to pay for at least their essentials version for you to start actually being able to sell have customer journeys so you will have to upgrade now you do get a lot of other great features with mailchimp for free as well like their marketing channels and single email automation so you can automate like a singular email so you can do that like a, a single welcome email you can automate that but you can't automate a entire journey like the entire mind map that i made you can't automate that but for 11 dollars every month you can automate that as well and but you can only automate so much but if you want complete access to automations you will have to go with their standard version which starts at $17 a month for 500 contacts and depending on the number of contacts you're gonna have to pay more or less so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own customer journeys on MailChimp and do experiment with MailChimp first do like log on create your account take a look and if you find that customer journeys are a feature that are truly worth it then upgrade your plan but if your email marketing campaigns are just fine and you're okay with not having a automated setup then you can continue with your manual email marketing as well so we are about to end this video and to end it on a good note i would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for consider subscribing to our youtube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and i'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions at the end of the day it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well and at the end i would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel as it helps out our videos a lot and again thank you so much for watching till next time goodbye